With the release of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, it looks as if we're set to get the return of a classic piece of Jurassic tradition. With Ted Levine's casting of who is only known as Ken Wheatley, the dino trophy hunter, my mind has been hard at work at thinking on what kind of cool new character we'll get to see up on the big screen. To be clear, this role has had very little said about it and there isn't too much to go on, but I can't deny that what little evidence is actually there has me ridiculously excited. In the first two films, both Jurassic Park and The Lost world included big game African hunters, with Robert Muldoon and Roland Timbo filling out those parts respectively. These two have become synonymous with my outlook on the kind of individuals who would be worthy opponents for the genetically engineered creatures that ran rampant on both islands, and in my opinion, they are a very crucial part of many people's enjoyment of those movies. I'm not joking when I say that every line of dialogue from both Pete Postlewaite and Bob Peck is used routinely in several Jurassic fans' vocabulary on an ordinary basis, and the manner of the first park's game warden and Ludlow's philosophical gun for hire are undoubtedly iconic. Lines like, This is a game trail, Mr. Ludlow. Carnivores hunt on game trails. They should all be destroyed. I believe I've spent enough time in the company of death. Are all famous parts of Jurassic Park's past that people love to bring up in reference. And in my opinion, the inclusion of another one of these characters can only be a good thing. We're unaware of what kind of role Ken will play in the film and what exactly he's doing with the dinosaur protection group on the island, but I'm putting my money on the idea that he's been hired to help round up the animals, similar to how Roland was used in the second film. With that being said, we need to actually look at the words Dino Trophy Hunter and take a moment to think on what kind of dinosaur Wheatley would actually go after. Now in my opinion, the one creature that I could see being the most alluring and tempting for a world-class hunter to tackle would undoubtedly be the Tyrannosaurus. Source Rex, again, just like Roland. But see, there's a big issue with that happening in the new movie. This team, and even the opposing nefarious team, are going in to rescue the animals. They aren't going in to kill anything, and that includes Rexy the Tyrannosaurus. Remember, there is only one on the entire island, and it's the old Rex that was going to be used as the main attraction for the first park. So if that's the case, then I highly doubt that either side would be okay with hiring him based on those interests. So what animal could Wheatley really be looking at pursuing? Possibly one of the many Triceratops or Brachiosaurs on the island? But if he does go after something like that, another big question I'd have is how? I mean, my god, that's no simple feat. We don't really know the kind of person Ken Wheatley is either going into the film, so who's to say that he isn't there for his own selfish reasons as opposed to working for or against either side of humans headed to Nublar? Now, apart from this simple conjecture, the only other time we get to see Ken Wheatley is in a brief clip where he's shown screaming inside of the Indoraptor's cage. To me, it looks like he's dead. In fact, it looks like he's gonna go in a way really similar to good old Muldoon, but honestly, I have no idea. The only small piece of information that I have that can be used to link this scene with other portions of the film are this particular shot. If you look closely behind the image of Blue here snarling, you'll see Zia Rodriguez locked inside of a cage. To me, this is kind of similar to the way that Wheatley was shown in that earlier shot. If you're asking me, I'd have to say that it looks like at some point in the movie, the good guys, or DPG characters, will become hostages to this other mysterious group of mercenaries, and Ken here may possibly get thrown into the cage with the Indoraptor for a good old test run for this wild and deadly new design. Again, please don't take any of this as a serious part of the movie that may actually happen, because I have no idea what to expect going into this thing. But yeah, that's the only conclusion I can draw for myself after having seen all of what they've shown us in the promotional material. Either way, I want to know your thoughts on Ted Levine's character of Ken Wheatley. Do you think that he actually will be on the island to hunt some dinosaurs? Or do you think he's just going there to round them up and do his part in helping to save them? Oh yeah, and speaking of hunting dinosaurs, I'd like to turn your attention to another really cool new Jurassic Park film that's getting shot on location in Hawaii super soon. Coming soon is a project that's being touted as the fan film to end all fan films in the Jurassic Park community. The team is using a $30,000 camera, they have a ton of JP vehicles and locations from the movies that they're going to get to use, as well as a CGI artist who's had experience working for Ubisoft, and even a life-size animatronic Velociraptor practical effect that they will grace us with in the very near future. This thing is looking incredible by the way guys, bravo to the maker for such an awesome effect. Marco Cavassa, you have outdone yourself my friend. I really think that this is shaping up to be a super cool event. 
Now, they actually need some support to help make this thing as perfect as it possibly can be. So if you want to help these cool dudes out, a link will be provided in the description to their GoFundMe page, as well as links to the creator's respective accounts. Now, before I go, I want to thank my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank my park workers and engine hunters as well, like Alex Harmon. It means the world to me that you guys appreciate what I do so much, and I can't thank you enough for all of your continued support. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video, and hope that you all enjoyed today's content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys. And as always, take it easy.